My name is Anita Alchel. I shall be doing Confession by Rigoberto Gonzalez. Tell us again, Father, about the priest who couldn't fit his fingers in your mouth, so you had to suck on the Eucharist as soon as it touched your lower lip. His hand radiated warmth like canine's breath, and suddenly the sound of a shirt coming off, and suddenly the door bandaging light, the darkness flat across your body, and nowhere the merciful word for Christ. The nipples were aflame, but whose? Bleat in the throat, Biblical goat that sniffs the sticky fluid of its spilled death. And what a betrayal it is to move through the world with a pair of eyes, only to have it end with the nose. Tell us, Father, how it aches to have a fat thumb brand its signature on the flesh. Wound that makes you tear into the pillows of adulthood. Spare us the nights of grief, dear Father, and warn us against the fierce desire of men before we drop into that ecstasy again of having a bastard drill between fires to our chests. Well, that was sure interesting, I'd say. I, it just sounds to me like a rape scene, just a really dodgy rape scene, kind of sketchily edited together, like some terrible indie film or something, but then I was thinking about it, and maybe it's like, maybe it's like this priest is like preaching against the the desires of men, you know, but even he plays the hypocrite as he uh, molests young children, I could only assume. He said, mouth was not big enough, fingers too fat, you know. Perhaps this means the mouth of a child, you know. And, uh, it just, the imagery provided seems very unconsensual, you know. Here he is, being holy, receiving the body of Christ, and then all of a sudden he's in a dark room with, I think, a priest. Um, and there's darkness and shame and fear and, and euphoria and stickiness, sticky goats, flames that are on nipples, you know, well, what is Roberto confessing to? It, it's a little bit vague, but it's, it seems serious, you know, it's keeping all this locked inside, yeah, but read this poem several times and I'm a little bit horrified but I'm confused perhaps that's what Roberto's feeling you know